Do you know it's story time, story time, story time? Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? <clears throat> so friends, today we have an informational story, a story that's going to give us information. And the title of the story is Sand Dwellers from Desert to Sea by Clarissa Martinez and Erin Seagraves. And in this story, we have two vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word is burrow. Can you say that word with me? Burrow. And burrow is a, is a hole or a tunnel that gets made by a small animal to live in. A burrow. And our second vocabulary word is Camouflage. Can you say that word with me? Camouflage. And camouflage means to blend in with your surroundings. Just like how this lizard is blending in with the rock. It's matching the same color as the rock. Camouflage. Now let's begin our informational story. Sand dwellers from desert to sea. Sand is used in all kinds of ways by creatures big and small. Explore some of the ways that creatures use sand to make their nests and homes. What would you do if you were a sand dweller? Hmm, that's a good question, friends. What would you do if you lived in the sand? If you have an idea, let me know. Dig way down like a desert tortoise. Desert tortoises spend most of their time underground to escape the extreme hot and cold temperatures of the desert. In the summer, temperatures in the desert tortoise's habitat can climb over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. No wonder they don't want to be in the sun all day. That's really hot. They dig a variety of burrows or holes in the sand to live in. So there's our vocabulary word, burrows. Some of their burrows are very large and are used for long periods of time, such as, such as winter hibernation, and others are small and used for short rests. Lay in wait like a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes dig down in the sand when hunting prey, such as mice, lizards, and other small animals. They stay hidden until the prey comes along and then strike. This albino rattlesnake looks a lot like the sand that he uses to hide in. It's a good way for him to surprise prey that he's hunting. Do you see me? Some snakes actually look like sand. They use their coloring to camouflage their bodies when hunting prey. So there's our vocabulary word, camouflage, to blend in with your surroundings. Others dig in the sand under a rock or branch to help them hide. Sleep all day like a scorpion. Scorpions are nocturnal creatures, which means they sleep during the daytime and come out at night. Because they come out at night, they don't see very well. They use their sense of smell to find food. Scorpions are native to the Mojave and Sonoran deserts, located in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. Some desert scorpions spend their days sleeping in deep burrows they dig in the sand to protect them from the light and heat. A scorpion's burrow is around 10 inches deep, where the ground is cool and damp. Vanish from sight like a ghost crab. Ghost crabs can change their color to match their surroundings. This protects them from predators such as raccoons, birds, and other animals. Ghost crabs are found on open, sandy beaches. The name ghost crab comes from their nocturnal nature and their pale appearance. Look, 
My shirt is blending in just like a ghost crab. Ghost crabs burrow deep into the sand to sleep during the day and come out at night to eat. Young crabs burrow close to the water's edge and older crabs dig further up from the water. Scamper along like a sea turtle. Sea turtles live in the sea, but they lay their eggs on sandy beaches. When the sea turtles grow up, they will return to the same beach where they were born to lay their eggs. Go turtles, go! Sea turtles use their back flippers to dig a round hole deep in the sand and lay their eggs. They cover the eggs with sand and sea grass to hide the eggs. After baby sea turtles hatch, they race toward the water to live in the sea. Slowly creep like a sand dollar. A sand dollar is a type of sea urchin that is round in shape with a petal-like pattern. I'm saving mine for a rainy day. These sea urchins are named sand dollars because they are often the same size and shape of American silver dollar coins. On the ocean floor, sand dollars can frequently be found together in large numbers. They use tiny spines on their bodies to move and burrow into the soft sand that lies at the bottom of the sea of the ocean. Lay flat like a flounder. A flounder is a type of fish that has adapted to life on the sandy bottom of the ocean floor. When flounders are young, they have one eye on each side of their head. But as they get older, both sides move to the same side. That way they can see when they are laying in the sand. I'm as low as I can go. Flounders' colors and markings camouflage them to look like the sand around them. They can quickly lay flat and cover their bodies with sand to hide and wait for prey, like shrimp, crabs, and small fish to come near. Make yourself at home like a hermit crab. Hermit crabs make their homes by moving into other animal shells. Their bodies are soft, so their shells protect them from, from predators such as sharks, fish, and squids. As they grow, hermit crabs leave their old shell behind and move into a larger shell. This one feels like the right size. Hermit crabs are nocturnal and can live underwater. Because they are omnivores, which means they eat both animals and plants, they're able to find a variety of food wherever they go. Desert, beach, sandy bottom. I hope you enjoyed our informative story. Sand dwellers from desert to sea. Till next time. Bye, friends.